Hey, hey, good morning and happy Wednesday. It's the Ray Ea Ancient Tree of Life channel. Um, also the unofficial Anunnaki of the Bible channel. So today is Wednesday and I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, energy current of Wednesday. And that's what I'm going to start referring to this energy as. I feel we need to update information as we move through the ages. So um, I know some people have, I mean, all of you guys that are in this particular field of interest know that there are people who are doubtful and skeptical and just flat out just don't believe in this astrology spiritual stuff so in the old days these this used to be a science and so what we have how we have to think is how we can make this into a more um, um, logical sort of way of interacting with the environment in the world and the universe around us so I'm, I'm going to try to use certain terms that make this more scientific, but none, but not less spiritual, because um, I'm very devout to the spiritual portion of it, and the the um, the logical scientific part will just add to it. So instead of uh, calling it um, a planet or Wednesday or the god of this or that, I'm going to refer to it at times as an energy current, right? Because as I've said, all things resonate with some sort of energy, some sort of energy circuit or pattern or uh, energy signature, right? Um, all things that live, all, all life, everything in the universe has a sort of a vibration or a rhythm. And these particular orbs are ab above our heads or planets have a particular energy that they, in, <coughs> that they in, in, induce into this solar system that we're, we're spinning around in. And everything caught up in that spin is affected by one of the other planets or things or environment or something, right? And that's where we get this from. So you guys can use that when you're sparring with someone about astrology. You're like, you know what? This is an energy system and an energy current. And this is what it does. And you see what I'm saying? Weapons for your for your quiver, right? Um, so, so Wednesday is the energy current of communication, of... Um, in the chakra or the shin center, shin center uh, being from the ancient Kemetic sciences, the shins are the chakra centers, and chakras, I believe, are more uh, India, um, uh, Indian um, um, oriented. But it's the same thing. The, uh, the throat chakra is the chakra of communication, and it resonates with a blue color, right? So the energy current color of Mercury is blue, right? Which is why on certain days you'll see me wearing certain colors, right? It's not arbitrary. Sometimes it is. I don't wear certain colors all the time uh, for the particular day, but most of the times I do because it, it you interact in the environment. Like I said, you are energy, right? So, and this goes back to what the actual term we've we've coined these orbs in the in the sky, right? Planets, right? So we're, we're used to calling them planets. But think about this word. I like to break down words. And I love to know the origin of words, right? Planet. If you say it slow enough, it sounds like plan it. Plan it. To plan it, right? To plan something. Well, look back at what we've learned just so far about um, energy working and working these days of the week from Sunday to Monday to Tuesday to Wednesday and working on the the bringing up the um, the Kundalini energy or the uh, serpent wisdom energy, bringing it up through you, right? You are actually working on something. You have a goal in mind, an end result, right? So you're working from point A to point B to come to a summation, right? You do this by planning things, by starting something here and ending it there. You're planning it. So could this be an indication that the the powers that be the ancients or wherever we got this term planet from was a subtle indication that these orbs or their effect in our world allowed us to calculate or plan how to get from point A to point B. We knew, we know that they did this with the stars. They were the sailors and um, uh, people that, uh, that were on ships, ocean, uh, people that sailed on the oceans, they would use the stars to navigate the sea. So we know that they were using this to do that. So that's just some interesting food for thought. Uh, today, focus on communicating, not just with the outside world, but with yourself. Uh, we're in Libra right now. Libra is all about friendships, family, love, partnership. You may feel 
the need to be around your friends a little bit more. You may feel the need to be around your partner a little bit more. Or if you're not in a relationship, you may feel the need to be in a relationship. And that's going to bring up a whole other set of feelings um, and energy flow um, in and around you, right? So just keep that in mind. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for following. If you have any questions, comment below. Uh, go ahead and like this post. If you know anybody that's interested in this particular type of learning, go ahead and send them a message and share this with them. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a great, terrific day. And remember, as above, so below, as within, so without, which means focus on thyself and you will fix or fo you will be able to focus on the outside world. Learn more about yourself and you will learn more about the outside world. It's the inside out. Take it easy, guys. Bye.